Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zoom. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're pleased to present Zim 10, the new site. So we're going to take you through the site, and we're going to treat it as if perhaps you've never seen Zim before as well. So we'll call this an intro. It's at zimjs.com, and here we are. There's the six main sections across the top, news about, examples, learn, code, and docs. But there's also 10 new sections, Zim 10, get it? 10 sections along here, which tell you about all of these things that we can make with Zim, including generative art, for instance. So we press on that and we get an intro. There's also a more link here, which will give you more of an intro and information. But then there's also the examples as we scroll down here of the generative art. And you can click on any of those to see how they were made, etc. We get down to the bottom, and then there's a top. Woo! Isn't that fun? So the more section opens up like this, and then you get some coding, some tips, some more, uh, oh, there's the pen and how to make shapes and tiles and the emitters. So this, these are possibilities to be able to make art with Zim. We describe how it's done. There's some examples in the industry and also an education thing. Less. So isn't that cool? And there's 10 of them, like we said. So that's, uh, that's there. And then we head on down towards the footer. Uh, these are called the gold bars. So in the gold bars, there's little features that help us with Zim. There's a zoo. If you just want to start typing Zim, you can press the zoo. and Or you could you could pick, hey, I want to see a monkey. And you go in here and you say view, and there is a monkey. Woohoo! Uh, you can see how that was created, and there's other examples there as well. Anytime you want to get back, you press the Zim logo, and now we're back. There's also tips, tips. There's lots of examples on Zim, lots of videos about Zim, and Zim has been growing over the last five years or so. So tips is our updated section, which tells you how to code with Zim in the most current way and some of the things that are changing. Let's take a peek there. So there's namespace, for instance, in many of the videos, it says, hey, you have to say new Zim circle like that. Well, this is now saying you don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> and talking about chaining and the configuration objects, some of the things that are new and unique to Zim as well. So that's the tip section. There's a school. So if you want to learn, Zim School is there. Zim 10 introduces Zim 10. So why don't we take a peek at that in just a second. We'll go through the rest. Here's a link to the vids out on, on the YouTube. Uh, there's links all throughout the Zim site and the learn section and so forth, uh, linking to those videos as well. Here's a site for kids to learn. And here's Zap if you want to share code with other people. Uh, it's especially good for education as well, then you can zap them the, the code. It's quite cool. Use it all the time. And then our social media links are along the bottom as well. Please come on by. CodePen, we've got examples happening there. Uh, we're on GitHub. We've got this place called Slack as well. So that's, oh, hey, we have to update the Slack icon. So that's Slack. That's where we have a community and you can ask questions about Zim and see examples those types of things. Patreon, where we <laughs> accept donations, if, if you really like Zim, uh, that would be super. And our blog, YouTube videos, Twitter, Facebook. So there's that stuff there. Now, the main sections then, news, will give us the bubbling video, such as this bubbling video, and the blog if you prefer to read or would like to read as well. There's the About section. The About section has a video intro to the site. <laughs> that's, that's what we're recording now. Oh, that's better. Uh, that was the video intro for the last uh, version of the site, I guess, and a Why Zim video. So if you're new to Zim and, and, and just kind of want to know what it's about and what it can do, then see the Why Zim video. But of course, here at the intro, we try and describe it in text as well. We talk about the conveniences, components, and controls. There's an intro to the, the, the sections. Here's the various features as a big bulleted list. Oh my goodness, hey, 
goes on and on, doesn't it? And applications, how we can use these are screenshots from the video of Wisem, uh, in part anyway, not all of them. And then archives of past sites. Oh, that reminds me. I guess we have now archived the Neo site and need to put the archive in here as well. But these are the various, all the Zim sites, duo, three, three words. One, duo, try, fourth, etc. Then there was V and six and hep and oct and Neo. And now we're at 10. Whee That's great. Uh, reviews about Zim. Yay. Uh, please give us your review on Facebook uh, as long as you give us a five. <laughs> We're so far all fives, <laughs> which is nice. Um, and some of the people working on Zim and so forth. So that this is the about section along with the philosophy. So please, uh, if you want to get into this more and really sort of uh, experience the wonder of coding, uh, check out the creativity framework where we talk about uh, the philosophy of nodism based on coding object-oriented programming. There is a large learn... Oh, we missed the example. So here's examples now. And so lots of examples of Zim that you can go in and, and check them out. Uh, this is what the, the last site, Neo, kind of looked like this, a bit smaller. And uh, that related to animating and dragging along a path. So we can pick that up and drag it along a path. And there's the path. And you can edit the path. So that, that was sort of what was all exciting and new back in uh, the Zim Neo time. And now we're in 10. Oh, I did mention. I think we got through all of them, did we? Uh, well, we saw the examples. We were about to see the learn and the code, but I forgot to show you the 10. So let's uh, peek at the 10 here. So this is telling us what is new in Zim 10, much like what was new in Zim Neo. This is the, the Zim 10 version. And what is new, uh, you can click on the new and actually see it in the changes, but or in the updates here. And there it is describing all of the stuff. <laughs> hey, should I read that to you? Describing all of the things that have been added in Zim 10. But uh, let's see, where do we get to? Let's go back. Um, but there's um, a listing here of some new things as well. First of all, easy physics. So here, what we've done is we've inter integrated physics, so it's much, much easier. You just say, if you've got a Zim circle, new circle, you then say dot add physics. And that turns uh, your circle into a physics circle where you can uh, do stuff like that. We've integrated all the things like joints or joining and, and made any contacts easier. So here's a uh, keeping it up, uh, boink, forces, forces are all now integrated. So much easier, Im that's an impulse it's called. Woo, ba -doop, boop. And uh, then also controlling and, and, and this is a controller now that we've got with a mouse. So there we are driving around and contacts, uh, like I said, wee, and that's follow. So it, it, it will follow with um, a scrolling site like that. Pretty darn cool, huh? So that's integrated physics. And we introduced the accordion here. So we can open these things up. There's Hamilton, and here's Dundas, and you can put anything you want in here. Isn't that cool? So there's a picture in amongst uh, a large accordion, and you can animate these things in or choose not to animate those things in. Uh, those ones had styles with colors. These ones are without colors. Uh, you can see the gray shading still exists. And then SVG. How about that? Check this out. So this is an image, an SVG, in, or brought in as a bitmap. So we uh, turn SVG into a bitmap and can present it like, like an image. But now we have brought this in and <laughs> isn't that cool? So we can now play with uh, SVG codes and make, <laughs> make people as curvy or not curvy as they want to be. Uh, there we go. How's that? Isn't that great? So um, this is a uh, brought, bringing an SVG into paths or into our what we call a blob and a squiggles, blobs and squiggles. But also if it turns out there's shapes in there like circles and rectangles, those then get uh, converted into Zim rectangles and circles with transforms on them. 
All right, so those are the three main features that we've, we've shown, but there's all sorts of other updates that have happened in Zim 10. But this is a tour of the site, and this is Dr. Abstract here. By the way, Dr. Abstract and Pragma. Um, introducing the new things at 10, so you can read about it there as well. We almost got through the site. What do we have to look at? Uh, the Learn section. So here's the Learn section now. There's Pragma, and in the Learn section, there's also a bit on teaching. So, well, more than a bit, lots of on teaching, teaching with things like, shall we peek in there? There's uh, workshops. Boo, 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 boo. That's Zim School that we'll get to. But there's a bunch of workshops there and uh, modules that combine the workshops, and practice tests, and so forth. Back in the Learn section, there's Kids in School. Cool. <laughs> Here's various things on setting it up and uh, again, s school and what, what that's like. That's a primary place to learn now, certainly if you are in school or a, a teacher in school, that, that maps it to a high school curriculum, which if you've never coded the Canvas before is really the equivalent to a college or a, a, even a university curriculum as well. And then there's uh, kids, but we'll, we'll take a peek at kids in a moment. This is the tutorial area. So code zero is a video tutorials. Then there's badges. There's the tips, as we mentioned before. Check out the bubbling videos and then the kids. So here we've got basic level videos, basic level um, screen captures. And these are this, what are called the Zim bits. So there's 64 of these. Here they are all organized. You'll also see them looking up. I thought that would click. You also see them uh, looking like that. Or indeed, if we go back to Zim bits, here are 64 of them. There they are. And you press this little square here, and then you can see images of them all. All right. But here we're looking at them kind of all in organization from the easiest to the mid level. So much of the same in the mid level. There are the mid-level ones, and then to the advanced level ones as well. So you can see lots and lots of general examples to, to help out. Here's what the school looks like. Hello there, Dr. Abstract. So Zim School has eight lessons, like so, that you might really consider as modules. And then here's one on the display. And there's theory about it what's happening. There's reference images there with all sorts of links to documents and codes and images. Almost like a book, isn't it? But then we get beyond a book where we can open these things up and just type in here. So this is saying, hey, give me a new circle and let's make it drag like that. Oh, we want to add it to dot center on the stage, dot drag, test it out. And now we have a circle that's dragging on the stage there. And these take you through a whole bunch of different ones that we're adding different types of shapes, how to apply transformations, various types of transformations to these things, um, to outline them, etc. And then a bunch on how to add components. So there's how to make a dial, for instance, new dial dot center, new dial, round bracket dot center, Oh, almost. Enter. Oh, no enter. <laughs> Test. <laughs> and there we have a dial now on the screen. So this is Zim School. And then there's also Kids. So here's Kids, which is a, um, a look at, it's very similar, but sort of more oriented towards a kid. So here's Blockhead, how to make a blockhead with all these shapes like that. And here's Blockhead 2, which is animating, and Blockhead Level 3, where, oh, it's already saved my blockhead things, but uh, this gives us shapes that you can move around and save from the last time as well. There's the reset. And this as well, you can see the code. You can test the code. Um, I had been testing some code already underneath there, and it remembered it, and so forth. So that's Zim Kids. There's Blockhead, there's Random, there's Explosions, there's Scribbler. And we also treat the, uh, under Magic, we have an educational system. It's an abbreviation of the high school, uh, but where we uh, talk to kids or even people who are seeing code for the first time as well. 
So these are wonderful. We treat it as magic. Isn't that exciting? So those are magic, colorful magic wands you can open up. And we also treat the documentation as spells. Ah, we haven't seen the docs yet. So that was one thing uh, that we haven't seen. So, oh, two things, code and docs. So we just took a look at the learn section. Hope you're still with us. <laughs> yes, all is good. Good. And uh, now popping into the code, here's where you start coding. So you hit copy. Go to a browser, uh, or not a browser, a um, text editor of any type. We use Atom, and then paste that in. So that's the Zim template right there. It looks like there's a lot, but there's comments in there. Here we are bringing in the Zim. Sorry, that will probably be small on your browser window, or on your viewer there. There we are bringing in CreateJS and Zim 10. We have different ways that we can scale, but we're using the Fit template. We give it how big. It will be what colors will make the, the template. And then we call the frame and we pass all those things in. So that's why Zim is a framework, because we make a new frame. When the frame is ready, we call this function right here. It gives us the stage, which is where everything goes, and a width and a height. So here's uh, some helpful places that you can go. We've just looked at most of them, the learn section. We're about to see the docs and the bits. And you can put your code here, and there's that circle, for instance. And we stage that update to show any changes, and then we end our script. So that's the Zim template. Basically, you copy it and then start typing right here. And uh, it's very friendly and easy. As well, in the coding section, there's a set of templates that show you different ways that you can fit Zim into the browser window or into an HTML tag. We have the help section here. So these are places where you can go get help. And Slack is the, uh, the most important one there for the Zim Slack. We have tools that we can use. We can distill. Uh, Zim is about um, 500k or so. Is it? I can't remember. And if you want, though, if, you, if your application only uses so many uh, commands or classes and functions and stuff, then if you distill it, will, it will minify only the code you've used. And sometimes you can get down to 50K, that kind of thing. Uh, Wonder does stats. We've seen Zap and Zoo a little bit, or talked about it anyway. Editor suggestions, Adobe Animate, Texture Packer, CreateJS. Uh, Zim has accessibility, so there's a, a test site on that and some information and multiple libraries that support it. Like there's Zim Socket for multi-user, the game, the game one with the leaderboard, etc. We're coming out with an isometric view as well as to bolster that game module a bit. Uh, the thing is, is all of Zim is used for games. We've already got hit tests and dragging and, and motion controllers that use game pads and stuff. So main Zim is already there. So the game uh, helper module is just for things like that uh, would be only really used for games. <laughs> Um, there's physics, so that's now been more integrated, which is cool. And Zim 3, so how to bring in 3JS into Zim, as well as these pizzazzes that make things. Then there's sections on how the docs are organized and Zim's organized, various treats that you get. These show up as well in the tips. They're perhaps more current in the tips. Whoa, and information on CreateJS, etc. Oh, well, we'll keep on going. Sorry for the squash, squash, squash. After the CreateJS, there's basic object-oriented principles. So these have as well been moved into the school, so it probably be more accessible to view them through Zim School. But there are object-oriented principles, things like methods and properties and events and so forth, and then programming basics. And again, these would be found in Zim School as well, and the kids' site. Um, what are expressions and statements and what are the brackets and variables, conditions, functions, loops, arrays, oh my, you know, that kind of stuff. All right, so that's all under Zim code. Finally, in our intro, here's Zim docs. Zim docs is where all of the commands, all of the classes and commands and so forth are um, placed and they're organized. There is a, where is it? Do -do 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 -do, an intro to the docs. So you may as well click that intro to the docs. We won't introduce it. Aside from saying that you can open up the docs and then read about them. Every doc has an example or two. There's the parameters, there's the methods and the properties that are available and the events, you can uh, see the Zim bits that relate and videos. Now, these videos have linked out to bubbling videos that 
featured things that um, uh, when when we created the learn section, it, it only went so far, and then we started adding bubbling, like a hundred bubbling videos of newer things that got added to Zim. So um, we helped out with the docs by pointing to those videos. However, what we've decided to do now is actually make a video of the basics of each of the documentations, and we'll put these in here, perhaps as a, another button that is called, uh, I'm not sure, <laughs> I mean, uh, we'll, we'll rearrange the name, but that's that's the plan for Zim 10, so have a look for that, um, to have every of these, <laughs> every of these, point to a specific video for the documentation, so that's nice. Cool, huh? Those are the code sections, there's the controls, like motion controllers and parallax and, and uh, a particle emitter and a pen and stuff. Here are the methods that go with all of our objects. So those are these were all of our objects, our display objects. I'll close that up. Uh, circles, rectangles, blobs, squiggles, and then all these components and so forth. And then all these methods go on those. Um, so all of those parts have hit tests. All of those things can be animated um, and scaled and uh, blah blah blah. All right, <laughs> Ooh, we got to a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so that was a an overview of the new Zim 10 site. Did we miss anything? Uh, well, we didn't see uh, through all of these different types, but you go ahead and have a read there. Hopefully that will help you figure out what Zim can do. And then it's a matter of doing it. So come on, visit us in, in Slack. If you've been here for a while, help us out with Patreon. That would be great. We love you and thank you very much. Uh, code creativity. This has been a What's Bubbling at Zim. And there's that new, new logo as well with the colored slats, the Zim colors. Uh, I think of it, uh, I think of it kind of as a building almost. I want to live in there. I want to work in there. Yeah. That's, that's the Zim offices. Cool. Uh, ciao. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day or night. Bye-bye.